What's up, y'all? It's me, Tasha C. And this particular video, y'all, I will be reviewing Love and Hip Hop New York Season 8, Episode 1. Now, let's get into it. Shout out to my YouTube fans, and let's get into it, okay? Now, due to the fact this is the season premiere, you know, you start to get on some of the care, you know, the care, I'm saying characters and stuff, like we, you know, whatever. Um, but some of the cast, and then the other part of the cast will come later on during the season. Or, you know. But, um, first one of the main things is, it's like, Rima's returning, uh, we see her, she's in a helicopter, you know, this is when the BT Wars, where she's nominated for the best, um, hip-hop, you know, female artist, I think, um, a, a, fem a female, uh, rapper, and she was talking about, you know, even they were showing clips from it that she won, and, you know, she was even saying in the course, and, you know, um, during, you know, you, you talk to little soapbox sessions and the confessions, about, you know, how, you know, seven years somebody else holding, she was talking about how she wants to bring unity to everybody, and then when she was talking about, um, I think when she was the Hot 97 concert, and she had, like, all, you know, other people, and some of the female artists, I already heard Mooney Love, and then she, they blanked out some of the people, okay, like, we can't look it up to see if they, but whatever reasons, you know, um, they took that out, so, we got it where she won, and she's getting better. They even showed her acceptance speech and Pat Poos, which I hope he made you know made investment in business out of all, all baseball caps. Cause I mean he be investing. I don't think we ever have seen what is under the hat of Pat Poos. Okay, <laughs> so um, they have a celebrate. Uh, women eyes not filling for champagne for whatever reason. She pours a cup at this eight cheers, and basically they're talking about you know. What's next? And of course, the, you know, after the mis the, the sad miscarriage that happened, um, the you know the next option is vitro, and she wants to take on so much because of course in the shot when she's doing the shout outs, you know she also brings about the women in the facility that she was and facilities. You know she said on off in her life I don't know that's a clue to six years that she also had done, but you know she was just talking about she wants to work with his album, wants this, she wants to be up there, this she wants to do a pottery class. All that other stuff. And her husband reminded her, like, okay, what about the baby? We're going to try to finish road now. You know, you take on too much. And Ring Ross like, no, I'm not taking on much, whatever, blah, 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 whatever. And it was also the scene where she had a neck, um, neck ring, uh, networking party. And I see Juju, who's just Gabrielle Union's twin, as far as I'm concerned. Um, <laughs> uh, she's also part of the cast as well. And they had Juju and Brianna has made appearance back as well. And she's also part of the main cast. You know, you look at you know, the intros and stuff. Um, I guess Lil Mo gonna come in the one, three episode, But they haven't shown her, like, in a little, you know, you know, one minute and a half preview of the season. So we see how that's gonna go. But we have it there. And Brianna's talking to uh, Bianca or Brianna? Or is it Bianca? Okay, a little bit. Okay, we're gonna call her that. Okay. Um, she's talking about she's got a problem with another girl Who's named Brie Taylor? Because here you're talking about here go, uh, Bianca talking about uh she wants unity and blah blah blah. And Juju had to remind her like uh well why she the one pulling up in the hoodie and stuff you know and jumps somebody. Now we actually heard this when bad bitches on board on deck or in the driveway whatever came. Remember the girl who was going with some with Cisco, um you know dating him rather you know whatever um. Remember, she was talking about she hit her with the club. And so she's, you know, how she, Bianca show gives her props. And we're not talking about as far as, like, giving somebody, you know, you know, uh, you know, tell them, like, you know, I, I like your outfit. She's the type of person who's going to try to use a weapon and come after your ass, basically. So now she got a problem with this chick. And, you know, I'll talk about her a little bit because, you know, it's interesting. It's, like, towards the end how they meet up, okay? But... Um, but, you know, like I said, Bianca feels like, you know, people come to me a certain way, whatever. She trying to accuse me. I'm trying to steal her swag, all this other stuff, whatever. She trying to be like me, blah, 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 Okay, whatever. And I think Snoop, Snoop is there, and then they got her Snoop, you know, Snoop is, of course, going to come with the guys. And she is talking, I think, Safari, Pat Poos, whatever. And Safari, of course, makes an appearance back already in the first episode. He's back in New York. Um, he talks about how he's glad to be home, and I think Snoop is the one who asked him the question, like, well, how do you feel about being back? And I think DJ Self is back, too, okay? Um, how do you feel about being back? You know, where it was the women too fast in L.A.? He was like, they'll have Botox parties and blah, 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 and all this stuff. He was just like, he's trying to get an official, you know, get the real love from New York, okay? 
And uh, then DJ sells out. It has this artist named Green Down. And, you know, she's curvaceous. She's, you know, she's just, you know, I I, I mean, he says she's talented. I was, I'm not going to lie. I'm not trying to say or whatever. I have not heard anything from her yet, so I don't know what she has in store for us. But, you know, DJ Self, he was kind of like, well, you know, when I seen her or her or something, you know, I had a twinkle in my eye. And I had to think about it. Yeah, you probably was about to have a heart on your pants. But what? Okay, because I'm just saying, see the way she looks, and it's kind of like I, you, I doubt you just chose her because of her um talents and her personality. Yeah. Okay. So um, <laughs> so she was talking a little bit, but like I said, maybe we'll find out more about her um in the season. But I don't know if she was with Safar because they showed it real quick, and I feel like rewind it in the previews, or was that An Anis? Which we'll get into in a second. Because that's what, every time I hear her name, I just want to do this. Okay? <laughs> but, uh, so, we get to that party, and then we go and we meet Anis. I think I'm saying it right. And she has been a singer, but she's been a housewife, and now she wants to get back to the music scene. She has one, I think she was like, she has a Spanish version of Idol, a Spanish version of Idol. She has this manager, and I forgot his name is Nap. I don't want to make some man's name up, but he's worked with other artists, including Fetty Rap. And um and now he's managing and he thinks I need to, she could take her to the top and she's basically like this I'm trapped I'm not about that life with the house uh being the housewife whatever I'm tired these babies I want to be able to you know there's a scene but she has a very big personality okay um now she talks and she missed us like this is not my dad it's my husband because I mean. I'm, I'm I'm not trying to be dramatic he just looked a little you know he looked a little seasoned you know and. She is talking to him for a second, talk to him to be up here in one section, and the next side she talked to a manager. You can see there's a little flirtation going on because he even says, like, you know, you look like, you know, a glass of champagne. And she's like, why don't you drink me up? And all of and he talking about popping the, the cork and all this stuff. And I'm just like, you know, and he admits, like, she's a firecracker and his girlfriend wouldn't ask actually probably that's too much as far as I'm like, yeah, but she's also married two kids. She didn't say she was divorced and you got somebody think about it so <laughs> she already seems a big person uh, you know personality but she has besides that um the, the, this new cast other cast member besides her we seen her later scene and her hair that she had on was blue like you know the shirt and you know she, wig whatever and her husband the first thing he says is kind of like how she already said like you know her husband better get the program or you know she's sick and tired of him then you know, like i said every time i hear her name for some reason i, I ain't about to do all that <laughs> you know what i'm saying but she got one of those names you know makes me want to shit me for some <laughs> but anyways she talks to him and the first thing he says like you know when you talk you always try and do something you need to come home early saying that i'm tired of that you know what i'm saying she's like okay i want to get back in the limelight basically you know and he says something about her blue hair and she's like everybody's worried what's the problem with blue hair and i was like yeah you better tell because how the heck i look be up there saying you know, yeah, he's right, and I'm sitting here with damn pink in my hair, for crying out loud, okay, so, <laughs> so, um, he, and then he was like, what you want to do, and she looked at him, he was like, well, you want to divorce, and she's like, I don't know, you know, they just had that casual talk or whatever, okay, but we will see more of them in the future, or at least her, Rich, <sighs> Rich Penis has became more popular then actually his accolade, <laughs> I mean, his, you know, credentials, I'm just saying, okay, so anyways, we have another scene where I think there's a guy named Webstar that, we, now we found which dollars has found, he's been diagnosed with, um, he's 41 years old, he's just been, um, I'll, I'll say 40 years young, whatever, and he's been diagnosed with diabetes too, and he has to be careful because his grandmother has passed away from complications, diabetes, and I think he said his uncle, and he's had some other relatives, of course, that had to lose, you know, have, you know, some of their limbs amputated because of the effects of diabetes. So, you know, he has to take care to show he's giving himself insulin shots and stuff, and just realizing that, you know, um, the reality of now being diabetic, you know, and, you know, of course, I have relatives, I don't have, you know, I, of course, we all need to take better care of our stuff, you know, but, um, like I said, I have relatives that recently, but they were a little bit older, but they were like, 50 and then were diagnosed with diabetes or 40 40s whatever so you know but he like i said he meets with webstar and he goes to uh 
you know, Webstar wants to, because, you know, he can reach out to uh, spot talent. Because I guess Rich Dollars hasn't been trying to do the music thing and kind of has retired it. And all of a sudden, um, it's this girl, her name is Bree Taylor. And Bree Taylor is the victim of Bianca in her hoodie. And Bree Taylor's like, you know, you know, we're saying the confessionals, I think, in between, like, you know, how this girl tries to be like her, you know, try to wear blue hair, blue turn. She said since 2007, so they on and off been having beef. Like I said, this is not the first time we heard Bianca that she has physical beef. And even last year, like, what was the beginning of this year? Because, you know, don't be a whole year before the third third show go off for y'all, okay? But with that other girl, with that DJ boyfriend who was basically set, you know, that, who, who was an asshole as far as I'm concerned, but she, she's always in conflict. We don't hear too much besides we hear one more time about her chicken noodle, chicken noodle soup with some hot sauce in it and some bagel and an orange pop. Um, other than that, we haven't been hearing too much about anything recently because of that, okay? Because her antics as opposed to her talent. So, but she's letting us know, but she tells Dr. Rich Dollars because Rich Dollar has a problem with, man, you know, like, you know, how it feels about managing, I guess, young parks. And also, I thought about, I thought he was honestly going to say that he's kind of like a little bit hesitant with managing females because usually he ends up fucking them. So that's why I thought that maybe that was why he was saying um, maybe he didn't want to, you know, do it. And so after that, um, he decides to go take her in because she's a real town. She says, like, she gives a beat, beat uh, Brie Taylor gives us a background of like her mother was trying to get in the music business and didn't work that well so unfortunately she succumbed to, to, to addiction and then her grandmother took care of so her grandmother's kind of wondering why she's not putting music out she explained that to rich whatever i don't think she has said about mother violent addiction to him directly but she did tell us in the confessionals so uh she you know she her and rich decided well, i guess he's going to manage her help her with the music whatever right so to make a long story short let's just stretch it out real quick he takes her to an event, and, you know, first he, but no, first, um, he, he breaks retailer, Snoop is up there, throwing around, see, so you know, she, she can get in, um, but Dan Bree even tells her, like, you know, make sure you don't, y'all don't lace, put nothing my drink, talk to you, whatever, well, she was like, I'll do that, she walks to the bar, then we got Bianca coming in, whatever, right, and uh, they, I didn't pay attention at first until Brie Taylor is on the way walking back from the bar because Rich is trying to say, you know, I want y'all to talk, which we already knew how the hell this is going to. Rich know better shit. He'd been, he'd been one of the main cast members who's been there consistently, even before he became main cast member. He's been there since the first damn season. He knows better. Shit, is he the only one left? Because I think everybody else is pretty much left with him, but he's been there since season one of this show. Okay, so he know better. He already knew it was toxic, waiting to happen. He always trying to think it's gonna be cool by y'all between Bianca and Luke and Brie Taylor. And he said, you know, y'all, I want you to meet and talk to somebody that you knew before me. I, I, whatever was kind of just like, oh, who you talking about, whatever. And I think I don't remember, I don't know, but a little bit after that, here come Brie Taylor. Brie Taylor, you know, but she's like maybe about, you know, maybe about. Six, you know, do, do, do some 12 feet, 12 feet away. And she's all right. Already got scared. Like, oh, here she is. Oh, she blah, blah, blah. And I tried to copy me. And I didn't pay attention. Now, she had like a, like kind of a, you know, wrap around the hopper top pan, kind of like a pan suit um, sequence. And I didn't pay attention. Bianca's dress was also the same sequence, but just a dress. And I didn't pay attention. Like, wait a minute. They kind of all look like they might have went to the same designer or something or had the same, you know, you know, you know, st uh, style clothing. So, uh, they go back and forth, blah, blah, but I already knew that they looked like Grandma's about to throw something. So she tries throwing a shoe at her. Snoop all the background of the ball, like, oh, snap, blah, blah, blah. Then they go cut to us the commercial break. And of course, they got security, blah, blah, blah. And then when they're trying to, you know, take Bianca, I guess, out the clutch, of course, she almost breaks free. And, uh, of course, they caught her before they do anything. But she, of course, she had to hear, like, you bitch, you foul, blah, blah, blah. You trying to be like me, F you, F you, F you, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So, and Rich was saying, this is why, in professional, something like that, you know, this is why I don't take to young, um, you know, work with young uh, artists. And then that's what I'm saying is, uh, may maybe he meant he turned a new leaf because, like I said, he used to work and occasionally work on a lot of his female artists. Not all of them, because Liv and him were just manager and artist. But I'm saying, we all see how it went. <laughs> so I have to say. So... 
Um, after that, you know, you got security, and, you know, Snoop was just like, you should let her go. When they talk to Brianna, and he, Rich goes outside to talk to Bree, and he's just saying, like, she needs to keep it professional and stuff. But also, Rich, you could have avoided that because that was the sad way that happened. Now, he could have just sat there, try to see, can he talk with DM, Brit, whatever, and then see that she wanted me with her bands. But as far as this, you know, this event or party I was trying to have promote, it was a disaster waiting to happen. So, you know, that's what I'm saying is it's like, you know, because just like, you know, she's bummed, she's there, she's bummed at bit, blah, 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 you know, the usual. Okay, we'll see how it goes. So, but I did notice they did promote the music that she had, you know, the promoting thing. And um, that was only, uh, that's the only one who, uh, I guess, performed. So, um, let's go with the can't, can't, um, I was about to call Yandy Candy. Okay. Now, Yandy is, of course, you know, like still got, you know, her um, production company, I guess she's finally open to try to take care of, you know, her kids, to try to respect her husband, her man is still incarcerated. So, um, she, he, she, um, she first is at the promo event of Remy Miles and Juju's where she was all talking to him. And then, Mendici calls and she like you know what babe and like hold on hold on y'all you know let 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 let, let me talk to him. hello uh you know what can you call me back I want my girls can can you do that for me and really give <laughs> especially she was a maid one give a look at Juju kind of look at her like uh why did you tell him to call you back and really thought you know of course knows that because she also has been in prison so she's sitting there like. Um, you just, did you just tell him to call you back? Like, he could just sit here and just call you back on the phone, just hold on a second and press hold and call you back and stuff and play a game on his, you know, Angry Birds or some shit on, your, on his uh, iPhone or something? <laughs> she was just like, okay, um, I know this shit, I'm not trying to be just mental, I'm just saying, you know. And here, Yanny had my he emails me that this is my afternoon call, and he's going to call me at that time anyway, and, you know, send me a lullaby. This is, this is, this is, um, this is all okay, okay? So, she lets us know that still, that, well, which we've been seeing on the blog, blogs, you know, you know, of course, much on Instagram and still on websites about how Mendeecees, you know, Little Mendeecees, and well, basically said, of course, with all this play from last season to now, that he has not really seen or hasn't seen his, uh, his children, that he doesn't, you know, his other two children, that, you know, the ones that he has had. Now, he's been seeing, of course, seeing the ones that he has for Yannis, uh, their children, but not his other two babies. So, we just take him day by day. But, like I said, she's trying to get that bread, trying to get the work, keep it there, bouncing. When he comes back, it's almost like he never left. And maybe it's just me, y'all. But in a scene when Yanny does cock and actually accepts his afternoon call, I guess maybe the next day to talk to him, it reminded me a little bit, of, it was giving us a little, you know, back, you know, flashback about when uh he kind of appeared to most of us as being an asshole when we first seen men we were introduced to men DC like that little you know you know that little possibly the little you know he had you know gave you a little you know gave you a little sample of the little asshole of mission he had you know what I'm saying because now he's letting her know like you know I seen a picture of you of Instagram and he's like, why you act like you didn't want to take my call? I had my mother to handle it. And, you know, yeah, and he's like, I love my mother-in-law, but, you know, he, you know, gets got, got his mama to handle his stuff. But also, um, he reminded her, like, you know, you on Instagram, remember this, you on Instagram and somebody show me, like, you trying to be video vixen instead of taking care of business, being business lady. And she's like, I was in bikini, uh, but I wasn't, like, doing anything. What was the big deal? So... He, you know, got a little tense, and then he's like, you know what, bye, or whatever, a little bit after that, you know, but like I said, it kind of reminded me a little bit of Medici, especially first season. So, we get another scene where Yandy is, like I said, to it's towards the, oh, uh, this towards the end anyway, and then I, that's pretty much it, because like I said, and like I said, Nisi's, and I got to everybody, so yeah. So, Anyways, Yandy has an artist named Grafted, you know, like I said, maybe, you know, he's, she's worked with artists before, has successful songs, and he took a break, and now he's back, his name is Graf, right? And 
So y'all, this is shirt up to here or something like that. Maybe we'll go a little further, right? Um, and then maybe she noticed maybe his right elbow was ashy. And like I said, his third shoe on is not even a damn tank top or nothing like that. Okay, you know, nothing up there. Just just, just right here. Just a regular shirt, shirt, well, shirt, 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 whatever, right? I'm telling to uh, touch to my words. But anyways, y'all, so she went over and used the Magic Johnson. She just like this. Here. It's that damn white ass line. I ain't gonna tell you. Look like Ashley Larry and shit. But she just doing this and doing this. And then here comes Medici's mom's coming in. And she's like, what are you doing? She's like, Medici's told me here to come in and check on you. And she's just like, okay, I'm working on something like that, blah, blah, blah. And she felt some type of way about what are you doing? She's just like, um, I'm just lotion him his arms and stuff for the shoot I'm working and basically it went from one extreme to another as far as I'm concerned because you again she's kind of like you know she's checking on like she's doing something wrong but like I said it kind of reminds me like it's picking up where it was last you know the first time the first season when we see made DC you know so she has a problem with him and he's just like Oh, okay. Well, I'm not trying to be disrespectful or anything. She's just was doing. She's not doing anything wrong. But then she got nerves. I think between first she even tried tapping him like she was going to put hands on him and stuff. I'm like, what the hell? Like, I I hate to see he was a foul, disrespectful ass person called he called you a bitch or something. Because I mean, all of this for what? Even like I said, yeah, touching is touching. But the way she was doing it, y'all, I was I sure. You know, like I said, it was nothing where it was sexual, nothing like that. She just did this, did this, whatever. But it got a little out of hand as far as that. So she got mad and she's just like, it looks like he's getting, you know, set, you know, basically aroused or something. Not aroused, but like, you know, he's enjoying this stuff like that. I'm sorry, y'all. But this here, I mean, there are people who have like unique fetishes and shit. But I'm not, I didn't take that as that so-called massage, meaning that this Negro was going to get a happy ending. I didn't get that from her. You know, I could even even see if even her doing that, and he was even getting a little bit frustrated, just let her know, like, okay, let's cross the line. If his shirt wasn't even off, wasn't even no scan shan showing nothing like that, okay? It wasn't nothing that showed any, any sexual, and you know, intimacy, anything that shows, like, you know, there's a chance that, this is a sign or this is a hint or sexual tension. Nothing. Okay. But she tried to let him, he just like, okay, you know, all he said was polite, was like, well, at least that's how I took it. He was like, okay, but you know, the time is, you know, the time is money and stuff. But you know, of course they had that one sister or photographer like had kind of pulled her away. I mean, Medici's mom, because she's sitting up here, you know, acting like she's going to beat up the guy. Like he did something wrong and inappropriate. And then, um, he, you know, she just acted like she's about to go towards him, like she's going to attack him, because even, um, you know, um, Andy had to pull on the side, like, okay, you, your, your, your son got to figure out, you know, which one's type of crazy. She's like, I ain't your type of crazy, blah, 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 you did appropriate, and you know, that's in between, that's when she went to try to attack when the guy said, okay, you know, I, we just got to take it, there's no, um, you know, this is, you know, time consuming, you know, money consuming, you know, stuff like that, you know, Take, you know, take it takes money, but she acted like she was going to attack the man, and they, you know, basically the guy, you know, one of the photographers, same guy, kind of like stopped, stopped her from attacking Graf left, because you know, Yandy's just like, what the hell? So now, because Yandy even said like, don't sit there and take this, you know, basically to Medici's and tell him like it's a bigger issue. What is she? She's like, yeah, because what I see, it was highly inappropriate. I, I, I'm just saying. Um, I, I, there's nothing wrong with looking out for yourself. And one more little thing before we go that I thought was real cute, then I get off of here. Safari so talks with his mom, his two sisters, and it's hilarious, but I noticed they trying to indirectly, you know, come at, you know, a big artist that was, you know, that's out here, <laughs> and they just to say her name. Now he's like back, and because, you know, his, fam his family's like, okay. One is main reason back for he misses family, blah blah blah. And he was saying like he's looking for a real blah 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 blah. And you know, I know y'all taught me, blah blah blah. They was like, Yeah, but you never listened to us. And basically it was and then he and the Safari's professionals like, you know, my mom and my family never liked that the girls I never brought me uh, the girls I brought home and um I'm not with any of them today. 
So they mean something. So um, basically, my mom just said, hope you find a girl you love and you love them back and so forth. But she was like, you know, you had to be careful because when you deal with thoughts, and then he was like, oh, who taught my mom the word thought? Deal with thoughts, then you have to get on their level. So basically, you know, you know, you, you know, run around with, with the with the with the a thoughtiness and stuff like that. Then you a thoughtiness because you know you go with that Sandy Heaven stuff. So she's just saying like, okay, we gonna see what you gonna do, and we gonna go from there. So they cherish drink, but he, when he would try to do this, like give his mom, you know, like <laughs> whatever, she's like, I'm not your friend, I'm your mama. So <laughs> that's pretty much it. I just wanted to end it because I thought it was a cute thing, but like I said, I did notice. Again, even when he was telling them about, you know, find the right one, and they were kind of agreeing, like, yeah, because the women you bring around, whatever, they be popping the ass of the female you have. So it was kind of like, okay, if you're saying you know, the females that you've been, you know, that means all in general. So we all know who was your most famous uh, girlfriend for years, we found out later on. And so does that apply to her? Yeah. So anyways, y'all, that's it. But... Hit it with hugs and loves, and y'all have a pleasant night, pleasant weekend, and I definitely see y'all next one, and you know, if anybody who's celebrating going on Halloween, whatever, and if they didn't go to the weekend, enjoy, because my, I ain't about to be messing, I don't like Halloween stuff, like scary stuff like that, but y'all go ahead and do that, okay? Y'all go do that, because I ain't about, mm-mm, no, 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 okay, but anyway, y'all take care.